Now the first step is to simply restart your computer. Just restart your computer once and after the system restart launch the game. Now the next step is to set PC language to English. Now this has worked for many players so it might work for you. So open Windows settings and then go to time and language and go to language in region and then over here select English language and then check. You can restart your computer and then check. Next step is to make sure date time time zone is correct on your computer. So in the bottom right here you can see, see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Then now click on adjust date and time. Make sure set time zone automatically and set time automatically. Both are on. You turn it on and then click on sync now. Make sure that you click on sync now. Click on sync now once again if you see any errors. And once that is done, now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is for Windows 10 N edition or Windows 11 N edition. Only if you have Windows 10 N edition, then you can try this step. Windows N edition user can try this. Now for this, you have to install media feature pack. So you can copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, you will see a media feature pack. So here you can see Windows 10 for Windows 10. Here you can see different media feature pack for different versions. So you can just type in WN WinRE in Windows search box and then click on WinRE. WinVer, I'm sorry, W-I-N-V-E-R. So type in WinVer in Windows search box and then click on WinVer. And over here you will see the version. In my case, it's 23H2 and I have Windows 11 Home. I don't have Windows 11 N edition. Now, if you have Windows 11 N edition 21 H1 version, you can install this. If you have 22H2, install this. If you have 22H2, install this. This is the latest one. Similarly, uh, Windows 10 users can install. You can check the version, what kind of version you have, and install it, and then restart your computer, and then launch the game. Next step is to rename or delete the save game files. Now, before you do this, let me inform you that you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So only if you agree, delete the save game files. Now, for this, Open File Explorer and then go to this PC, open C drive. Now open Users folder and now open your username folder. Now open App Data. If you don't see App Data over here on the top, click on View, select Show and then put a check on Hidden Items. You should be able to see App Data folder. Open App Data, then open Local Low and then scroll down and open this Planet Gem software and then open Night Runners Prolog and then over here you will find the save game file. So you have to go back and then you have to rename this Planet Gem software. You can make a right click and then rename and you can name it whatever you want. I will just name it as .old at the end. Now once you rename it, now you can launch the game. If that does not work, you can delete the save game files. But as I told you, you will lose all the game progress. So make a right click and then click on delete. Once that is deleted, now launch the game. Next step is to, now this is for Linux user. You can switch to the latest version of Proton GE. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. Next step is to try these in launch option. So in the launch option, you can make a right click in the game in Steam, select properties over here, type in dash DX11, and then close this, launch the game. If that does not work, you can again make a right click, go to properties, type in dash, dash DX12, and then launch the game and then check. Still not working, you can remove this, Clear it and now follow the next step. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now for this, if you have any third party antivirus, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now if you are using Windows security, then go to Windows settings. Go to privacy and security if you have Windows 11 and then click on Windows security. If you have Windows 10, click on update and security and then go to Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the end, click on manage ransomware protection. Now click on allow an app through controlled folder access. Click on yes to allow. Now click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So if the game installed in C drive, open C drive, program files x86. Now open the Steam folder and then open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Now open the game folder. Now select the game exe file. This is the game exe file. Select it and then click on open. Once the game is added over here, now type in control panel in Windows search box and then open control panel, system and security, Windows, Def Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Windows Defender Firewall. 
Now click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Change settings on the top. Allow another app. Browse again. Go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder. Uh, sorry, select the game exe file. So open the game folder. Select the game exe file over here and then click on open and then click on add. And once the game is added, in my case, it, it is already added. Once added, now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Now over here, you will see the game exe file, make a right click on the game exe file, select properties, and then go to the second tab and then put a check on the box which says, sorry, put a check on run this program as an administrator. Click on apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, make a right click, select properties once again. This time over here, select, put a check over here and then select Windows 8, apply, OK, launch the game from here. So make a double click, launch the game. If that does not work, again, this time select Windows 7. Click on apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, put a check on disable, full screen optimization, apply, OK, launch the game, make a double click. Still not working. In that case, this time, uncheck all the boxes. So when you put a check, if not working, you can uncheck all the boxes and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to verify the game file. Now, this is important. Make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once verification is 100% complete, now you can launch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website and then select the right product type. For me, it's GeForce and then select the right product series, select your series over here and then select your graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here. And if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. Now click on start search. Now scroll down. The latest GeForce game ready driver right now is driver version 551.52. So click on get download and then click on download now. Now once the download is complete, you have to run this exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you will see the screen, click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box, put a check on custom, select custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation. Make sure you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next and first of all, it will uninstall the old driver and then it will do a clean installation of the new driver and after that restart your computer, restart is a must and then launch the game. Now the next step is to, now this is for laptop users with dual graphic card. Make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings. Now click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder. Open the game folder, select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, click on options, select high performance. Now click on save. Now launch the game and then check. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, you can see in Visual C++. Now you have to download x86 and x64. Download both x86 and x64 and then run this exe file. Now, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Download the second file that is x64 as well. Again, once the download is complete, you have to run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, you have to click on repair. Or if you see the install option, click on install. And once both the installation are complete, restart your computer and then launch the game. So click on it. If you see the repair, repair. If you see install, click on install. And once both are installed, then you have to restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. And after the system restart, launch the game. Now, the next step is to increase the virtual mem memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then 
click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update windows 10 or 11 to latest version so open windows settings go to windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here and then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game still not working the next step is to unplug external devices from the computer so unplug all the devices which you are not using disconnect additional controller connected to the computer sometimes you have extra controller connected uh, extra usb adapter connected so disconnect extra usb adapter controller extra controller connected disconnect it and then launch the game also try launching the game on single monitor disable steam overlay now for this make a right click on the, on the game select properties and then turn off the option which says go to the general tab and then turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then launch the game also close all the other overlay applications so if you have discord ge force experience running close you have to close all the other overlay application so close all the overlay application and then launch the game also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi afterburner reva tuner or any other overclocking application running close it and then also close all the third party application and services from the task manager including your browsers and if you have underwater your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all now this op this option is grayed out in my case uh, because i already did it in your case this would be highlighted but make sure that you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game so first of all uninstall the game and after you uninstall the game go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then reinstall the game to c drive so if the game is installed to another drive you can try installing the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed in c drive then try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel